I picked up a couple of these Lilygo tea decks late last year to use with the craze that is Meshtastic, a predominantly 868MHz LoRa based application that allows simple messaging in a mesh network over radio. This enables completely off-grid communications, even when using your smartphone as a piece of supporting equipment to chop and change your setup. I've done a whole series on this which you can find in the description below. My main setup has been the Heltec V32 board, and the phone allows you to run Meshtastic through the board itself. The Lilygo T-Deck was supposed to make it stand alone, but you can really only scroll your node list and message on it, meaning you still need a smartphone to operate Meshtastic's wider functions. The T-Deck is a pocket-sized LoRa device with a 2.8 inch 320 by 240 pixel IPS LCD display, as well as a mini keyboard and an ESP32 dual-core processor, all in one package. And while these have been handy for playing with Meshtastic, the whole Meshtastic application isn't available for the T-Deck like the Android or iOS app is on a smartphone. Meshtastic, in my opinion, basically limits the T-Deck, so I got to thinking of a better use for these cool little devices, and I think I've found one. The T-Deck looks like a Blackberry and has a wide range of uses, and compared to Meshtastic, where you need a smartphone alongside it to run the app to its full potential, the app I'm going to show you today is completely standalone, and no phone is required. The app is called Ripple, and it's another LoRa application that you can flash to a T-Deck and then message others. Before I carry on, I thought I'd address what you're all thinking. I printed my own T-Deck cases recently, but I'm a complete 3D printing novice, so went for a simple colour with an OK print quality and snapped together case. However, recently a Meshtastic fan in the next town put these really cool cases on eBay, which I'll link below. They have a semi-transparent blue back that fixes into place with small bolts, and an odd coloured front panel. Imagine my surprise when I realised this was glow in the dark, how cool is that? Setup for Ripple is really easy. You download this file from the link in the description, then go to this web flasher which is also in the description. Then you put your T-Deck into boot mode by pressing down the trackball, holding it there and clicking the small reset button on the left of the device. Then plug it into your computer using a USB cable, load up the file you downloaded earlier, Enter this value into the box to the left and click Program. The T-Deck will then be flashed with Ripple. After pressing Reset, you'll see the Ripple logo appear on your screen, along with some handy hints. The first time you install Ripple, you'll be prompted to press the Enter key to do a one-time generation of your key pair, which gets stored in the device. You can pick a number between 2 and 250 for your ID, and then press enter to go to the next screen to give your T-Deck its name. Then you can do a reboot, and if you don't have a GPS module, just skip this prompt. Now we need to assign a frequency by going into setup and radio. You'll then be prompted to enter a spreading factor. Now the main thing to do next is to add another T-Deck, by going into Setup and Exchange. You'll then be prompted with a password which you can change each time, and then go through to the Exchange screen. Once the device or devices you want to pair with are nearby, you press Send and the contact invite will appear on the other device. All you need to do then is add the contact. As you can see, messaging is as simple as clicking on a contact, typing your message and pressing Enter. Messages are encrypted and can't be eavesdropped upon, so this is a true, off-grid, secure form of text communication. What I want to do now though, is demo this outside in the open. So I'm here with YouTuber and close friend Andy Kirby at XL London over near City Airport. This is one of my favourite spots in London because it's quiet and really up and coming. 
both me and Andy have Lily Goat Tea decks flashed with Ripple, and I'm going to stay here on Royal Victoria Dock footbridge, and he's going to go over to City Hall, around 0.4 miles away to the west. Of course, this isn't a massive distance, but it'll give us an idea of how well these work, and don't forget these output are really low power. Andy's device has a little internal antenna, and I have a small SMA mounted antenna on the top of mine. We're using the 2 meter amateur band to keep in touch in case things go wrong, so let's go. Okay, so we've got the devices. I'm going to stay on the bridge up here. Andy's going to head half a mile down there to City Hall, and we're just going to do this short range test on Ripple and see. Well, I'm hoping we'll make a contact. It's me that's going <laughs> to yeah. We'll see, but Andy's going to walk, yeah, because I've got all the camera gear, so it's not really fair for me to do all that walking, so yeah. I've got all the radio, isn't Yeah, it? right, so I'll say bye. Let's do it. You walk off that way. Going that way, yeah. so I don't even know where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, and I'll see you in a bit. See you in a minute. So at this point, Andy's gone off towards the end of the 50-foot high bridge, where he'll go down the stairs and follow this path round the dock up here, here, round here, where he'll finish at City Hall. This is near the cable car terminal, which unfortunately wasn't running today for some reason. Yeah, I'm there, Rog. Good, good. So, how are you feeling about all them steps? All the steps? Well, most of them are going down at this point. Yeah, and then you've only got like a half a mile walk then. Yeah, it's quite a long way actually, all the way down there, but hi, hi. So are you just going to go to the end and we'll do a test at the end or are you going to stop like halfway and maybe or are you just going to wait and see till the very end, it's like a bit of surprise? I think we'll just stop halfway, I'll stop halfway and just send a couple of messages there because I mean we kind of know that it's most likely going to work, don't we? But you know, just testing. Going down the stairs now. Okay, shout me at the turn right and look back up when you get to the bottom end. Before you do it, just walk forward, carry on walking till I say stop. Keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Right, look up, stop. You're right in the shot. Okay, one sec, let me get this, get ready to film this message. Right, just show me your T. Show me the screen on your T deck pointing towards the camera. Okay, just take one step to your right. Right, stop there. Lower your hand about six inches. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, okay. I'll wait for you to next call up on the radio. As you can see at the bottom of the bridge, the first check-in had no trouble getting through. The main problem I had was getting the T deck to show up on camera. The bright sun and reflective glass on the screen made it hard to see, but with the naked eye it was no problem. Further round, Andy stopped and sent another message from around a quarter of a mile away. I'm just going to send you another message if you want to get set up for the, for the thing. I've just noticed as well, the airline's not working. What's not working? Uh, the Emirates airline. It's just a good job we didn't, we didn't book to go on it because it's, it's not working, none of the cable cars are working. Yeah, have you rounded the you've rounded the corner at the end, haven't you? Yeah, well, it's going towards Knack on side. So where am I going? Just to, just to that funky looking building. Yeah, it's City Hall. City Hall. Just go to go to that one. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. Then he continued round the rest of the walk to City Hall, and from there, the message had no trouble getting over to me on the bridge, and vice versa. This is the view from City Hall to the spot I'm stood on on the bridge. So I'm just going to put the radio down, and then I'll, I'll send you a message in a, in a couple of minutes. Yeah, OK. I'll stand by. Cool. Rog, come on. No time for socialising, Rog.
Roger, did you get it? I got the message, yeah. Do you make a new friend there? Who's your new friend? Of course, we knew this was going to be an easy test, so Andy had the idea to go behind City Hall and see if we could pass messages through the building to each other. The glass on this structure has a metallic layer inside, which can be a problem for radio signals. So, yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to walk behind. There's like a, a block of flats. Um, I'm going to go behind that. It's pretty close. We'll get there in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm just going to walk behind there and see if it still works, see if the... Uh, the T deck works and also obviously this radio as well because that would be blocking the signal so that would be quite a good test I think. Yeah okay no worries I'll stand by on the radio and just shout me when you're around there. Interestingly I received Andy's message but struggled to send one back when I held the radio up. Okay so the text is flashing and it's not sending. I got yours but my return message won't send Rog. Okay, let me just move the T deck away from this um, this metal thing that I've got it on at the moment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to want to send. It doesn't seem to want to send from uh, from here. Okay, um, keep trying, and I'm gonna. I'm just. Oh, hang on. You've got. I've got all received come through now as well uh, on the screen. So it says all received. Um, look at the top right of the screen. The little Wi-Fi indicator, has it gone down to like one bar or something like that? Yeah, it's it's on one bar and it, yeah, it has sent now. It has sent, um, so it's on like one bar. Yeah, it's on one bar. So I don't know how this works. It's, it's interesting, isn't it? I'm not sure. So I don't know how this works. I'm not sure if it kind of gets the RSSI from the actual message itself or if there's some sort of beacons happening in the background. It'd be interesting to know that, really. Okay, so that's that's gone through to you there. So it's sort of similar to Mestastic, isn't it? In in the way that it's uh, if it doesn't go through, you just keep trying, and it will eventually go through. Yeah, that's right. It's sort of similar to Mestastic in that way. I mean, it's all lower it's based on the same thing, isn't it? So you'd expect that. Right, I'll come down to you. Give us ten or fifteen minutes. I'll I'll pack up and head down towards you. So, as you can see, there's some fun to be had with this off-grid secure messaging system. If you want to know more, I'll leave plenty of links in the description below. If you want to get the 3D printed T-Deck case, I'll leave a link there too, but Chris doesn't have a 3D printing business, I think he just made a couple to sell, so I'd expect that once they're gone, they're gone for good.